week it's been, eh? What a week it's been. <clears throat> well, what have we had this week? Well, we've had Donald Trump feeding with his, uh, with his judges and throwing insults out there. He's a walking impeachment, isn't he? Absolute walking impeachment. How he's... Uh, oh, God. Anyway, I'm glad he's not my president. Uh, what have we had? Brexit. Brexit. Prime Minister has finally been given permission to, uh, to trigger Article 50 to leave the EU. Great. Three votes in Parliament it's taken. To be perfectly frank, I'm, not, I'm a bit confused because I could have sworn the British public were given this vote last July, uh, last June even. But hey, it's happening what was voted for. You know, people have just got to accept it and move on, haven't they? Um, I've been busy. Busy, busy, busy at work. Really, it's our busiest time of the year, and don't we know it? So that's been that's been my week there. The girls have been busy with dancing. Grace is back at school. Grace is back at school after having uh, been off with tonsillitis. She's looking much better. And the 10k, the Kirby Moorside 10k organisation is ramping up a gear, and um, that's getting exciting now. So uh, if you're a runner, you want to run a 10k in North Yorkshire. Get signing up www.kirbymoreside10k.co.uk. Also, if you're a younger person, I know that the local secondary schools like calling you young people, or young persons. Um, we do a 4K for you. There you go, you don't have to run the full thing. Come on, come and give it a go. Right, I've got some exciting news. Exciting news. This. This is my, my running and cycling saving jar and uh, every time I've been for a run I put 20 pence in for every kilometre I've run, 10 pence for every kilometre I've cycled, although I've only cycled once this year. And um, with a bit of residual coming in from, uh, from last year, I've, I've saved up enough and um, to be honest I wasn't saving it up for anything in particular but I always try and buy my supplies, running shoes, anything like that, um, with that money. So it's a kind of a hobby that pays for itself, kind of, sort of. Although it's my money that I'm putting in the jar, but you know what I mean. Self-sponsorship. Um, but the last few weeks, my run traces with Strava using my mobile phone have been all over the place. It looks like I'm walking home from the pub after a heavy session every time, zigzagging across the road. And I can't believe the times, and I certainly can't believe the distances. It's driving me mad. Um... And I think it's probably because I tampered with the phone's back and anyway, different story. But with that money, I have decided to treat myself. Yes, it is a Tom Tom multi-sport running, swimming, cycling watch. Um, I did a bit of research. Um, and you can go to the far end of a fart doing research on these things and technology. I'm in the technology business uh, as a job and I know you can really just, you could research and go right round and start back at the beginning because there's new models coming out all the time. So you've got to draw a line and Helen says I procrastinate far too much and ooh and ah about, um, um and ah about buying things and um, I do. So I took the plunge and I went for a Tom Tom Multisport. A um, few reasons. Garmin's um, good product, been around a while, um, but I look at all the positive feedback and great, then I look at the negatives and think, yeah, that could be me. Um, software glitches, not syncing, things like that. So I thought, tell you what, Tom Tom have been in the GPS game for a long time. Yeah, they're fairly new to the sports watch market, but so what? Um, so Amazon were doing a deal on a ref factory refurbished by Tom Tom themselves. Um, Multi-sport, 75 quid, which I was um, pleasantly pleased by the price for what you get in the package. You can add a heart rate monitor to it for about 30 quid, but I think you can use generic Bluetooth heart rate monitors as well. I don't know. So, I'm going to open it up for you. With my knife. I've had this knife. I've had this knife since I was a teenager. Um, I wasn't a bad lad. It is a lock knife. So if I took it out of the house, it would be illegal. Um, and it is extremely well hidden in the house. It's good for opening things in a dramatic, 
YouTube style. Like that. Whoa. Knife safety. Lock it up again. Back in its pouch. And that shall be hidden again. So, here we have it. Vivoch. Oh. Looks nice. It's kind of a, a matte finish to the rubber. Oh, some extra bits and pieces in there. So what have we got in the box? Let's have a look. So we have the watch itself there, and it's got a nice little neat little uh, fold-out section. What have we got here? So we've got a, uh, a handlebar mount for the bike. Pretty cool. What else have we got in here? And this must be like the... Uh, that's the sinking dock thing. And what else? I'm presuming that is the manual in uh, 48 different languages. Oh, well, yeah, yeah. So, brilliant. That's really good. So, so, and um, quite like the styling on the uh, on the back there. So, I'm going to remove the watch from its box. It's tough. It's tough. So there it is. Quite like that. So, uh, what's all this about? Mmm, groovy. Oh, it's a nice fit. It's a nice fit. Mmm. Yeah, I like that. It's good. Just gotta work out how to use it, aren't I? I'll do a full review for it. Um, it's going to get a good workout this weekend, and I'll probably probably run it side by side with Strava on my phone just to see how the two compare. Right, that's the Yorkshire Dad Friday update. We've just had the fish and chips, obviously, because I know what I filmed and I've planned to use that in the video. Delicious as always from the lemon tree in Kirby Moorside. If you're in the area eat there. Don't mean to be disrespectful to the other one, but it's not as nice. Lemon tree. Um, what else have I got to say? Oh! No. Don't know. Add something. It'll come to me. So, yeah, this weekend I've got to put in a uh, 30k run, um, but it's got to rain all day Saturday, which is my usual long run day. But um, I've got to get the entry forms out to local shops and businesses for the 10k, so that'll be keeping me busy. We have to do some shopping. The older two have managed to destroy their school shoes uh, within day a day of each other. So we've got to go get some more of those. And uh, little one's got a party to go to. It's all go. It's all going in our house. Right, I'm going to uh, wrap it up right there. I'm going to go and watch the telly. Deli, watch Deli, watch big, big Deli with uh, little ones and chill out. And I will see you next time. Have a great weekend. Quick little update on the watch. I haven't yet figured out how to turn it on. Don't know, not a clue. And I call myself a man of technology.